News Prime Time. The FW de Klerk Foundation says that the Economic Freedom Fighters Party is trying to create the impression that white South Africans have not contributed to the country. This follows the EFF's call to strip de Klerk of his Nobel Peace Prize, which he won alongside President Nelson Mandela. De Klerk had published a controversial letter in the British newspapers reacting to renewed efforts to have a statue of Cecil John Rhodes at Oxford University's Oriel College removed. Rhodes was both a student and benefactor at the college. The EFF lambasted F.W. De Klerk for his views in a letter to the Times of London. In the letter, De Klerk refers to the Rhodes Must Fall campaign as folly and regrettable. He writes, my people, the Afrikaners, have greater reason to dislike Rhodes than anyone else. He was the architect of the Anglo-Boer War that had a disastrous impact on our people. Yet the National Party government never thought of removing his name from our history. He further said, We do not commemorate historic figures for their ability to measure up to current conceptions of political correctness, but because of their actual impact on history. The EFF said by extension he meant that apartheid or colonization was politically correct, rendering his apology futile. Such a person does not deserve uh, to hold a Nobel Peace Prize because that is not the language that encourages peace. So we reject it and we call uh, on the Nobel Prize Committee Noe to immediately withdraw that uh, uh, Peace Prize and reissue it to Mandela because he should have not shared it in the first place. The De Klerk Foundation has rejected this view. We don't really think that the EFF is in a very good position to comment about peace at all. They are trying to stir up the racial part in South Africa. They are trying to uh, create the impression that, that white South Africans haven't made any contribution at all to the history of this country. They are trying to put white South African heroes in a kind of uh, apartheid museum ghetto. Uh, by doing this, they're really attacking reconciliation. Matlaku Komani, SABC News, Johannesburg.